Hey guys, what is going on? I hope you're all doing well and welcome to another tutorial video. In this video, I'll be explaining to you guys how you can use Mod Organizer 2 to mod your Fallout New Vegas game. So let's get right into it. First of all, when you enter uh, Mod Organizer 2 for the first time, you might get this or a similar screen where you'll need to choose which games you have installed or it will detect installed games and you'll have to choose which game you want to start off with. Choose New Vegas if you're already doing another game and you want to create an instance, just create, click create an instance, click create a global instance and locate your, uh, choose the game which you want, which is New Vegas and make sure you set the game location to what it's supposed to be. It should find it automatically. However, uh, if you can't just find the file by yourself and just choose it and select it. Uh, once you do, make sure that your Nexus account is connected to your mod organizer too. Uh, you do this through your login credentials and make sure you associate, associate Nexus links with mod organizer too. And once you do, just click download any mods on uh, Nexus mods and they will be downloaded here. Once you do download them, double click them and that will install them. And once they're installed, you want to check them off here to the left and they will be activated. But before you do, make sure that they are in the color correct spot for the actual priority or the load order for New Vegas. Some mods need to be loaded after some others uh, so that some certain data is overwritten and then your mods will work. Uh, also make sure you have New Vegas script extender installed because Bethesda games pretty much require a script extender because of how they are coded. And once you do that, you can also use loot to actually uh, modify your load order in the correct way. I have another tutorial for that, although with Skyrim, however, it's the same principle. And after you do all of that, just click run and your game should run perfectly. And that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any other questions, feel free to comment and I'll see you guys in another video.